One month ago tonight, people in Woodridge and Naperville ran for cover as tornadoes tore a path through their communities. For many, the pain doubled when they learned some damage wasn't covered by insurance. Tonight, our Marie Saavedra tells us how these folks are now getting a second chance. Trauma does funny things to time, so it's somehow both crawling and speeding by. I wish it wasn't a month already, but it's been a month. It's moving quick. That's how Joe Biondo feels. The power line. He first gave us a tour Whew. of his tornado torn yard in Woodridge, June 22nd. It's actually fallen a little more since it started. Since then, he's been wrangling documents and learning not everything that needs fixing can be through his coverage. Our insurance only covered so much for the garage and the fence, so we can only pay for so much, the rest was going to come out of our pocket. Another blow came when FEMA denied a disaster declaration for the area, leaving these neighbors desperate for financial help. One month to the day the tornado touched down, the U.S. Small Business Administration set up shop inside Woodridge Village Hall, opening up applications for loans to those hit by the storm. Your insurance may not be, you know, speedy, so it's good to know it's another avenue that they can take that can help them in this time of need. The state of Illinois used DuPage County's tally of the damage to apply for the disaster declaration. Here they found 36 homes with major damage. That had a total of $2.6 million in uninsured losses. Then there were 127 homes and six businesses with minor damage. That had a total of more than $3 million. It's going to help. It's going to help. It's going to help a lot of the neighbors too because a lot of them Oh, that's a lot of money. The Biondos plan to apply and use that money to fix their fence and the garage. It is financial assistance that could make the biggest difference in how this area looks in another few months. I want to try getting it done by the end of the summer. That's my goal. In Woodridge, Marie Saavedra, CBS 2 News. The SBA is accepting applications in person at Woodridge Village Hall through July 29th. Storm victims can also apply online. We have that link at our website, CBS Chicago.